Hi, welcome to JMeta tutorial fourth session. In this session, we are going to see actually how to record script in JMeta. I'm using Firefox browser. I'm using Firefox browser. So, in this browser, how we can record our script for particular website? So, okay. So, in this one, I have opened jmeter where i am using windows platform so i am using jmeter that bat file to open so here this is a so let's uh, create new the test pen i am uh, giving any name so my website is software testing okay, okay. In a software testing, this is a test plan. So I have rename. Yes, you know to add red groups. Normal one to one. Let it be. Let's change next time. So here you know to add simple HTTP request defaults. Okay. In HTTP request defaults, we are adding what are the website we need to open. So, while coming to real time you don't have any www dot so you will have an ip and port number so here i'm using my blog so i'm writing this one okay software testing roll dot blogspot dot in this is my blog okay i'm creating script for this site okay why because i don't have any development or QA environment while coming to in your applications simply you need to write here what is the right uh, 10.2.7 port number something 8145 so this is IP and port number that is mentioned in your QA or development while working in your company so simply so I am writing here see so whenever you are mentioning instead of uh, this site 10 dot something IP or port number so then you need to provide path here path home dot html or something so if you are providing IP and port number then you need to provide after port number you are having slash something right so there you have to provide here so here I am just giving this one I don't have any given development so so after adding just need to add a recording controller see recording controller see this one this one will be record everything which is happening in browser which is happening in browser so whatever the action we are performing everything will be recorded under recording controller okay so coming to workbench see see in this workbench we need to add non test element HTTP test script recorder. So previously it is renamed as the HTTP proxy recorder, proxy server. Then it is renamed as the HTTP test script recorder. Okay. So here it is saying 8188888. Right. So coming to here, I am giving this uh, proxy settings as a 8191. Okay. You can use this as a 8191 here. 8191. So okay same target controller should be recording controller this one here everything will be recorded in this recording controller okay so capture http headers so these are the same so i am adding this url pattern to include url pattern to exclude exclude okay just click on this add register excludes it will display everything whatever it is having everything it is dot css dot bmp this all will be excluded from recording controller while you are recording your site so why because it is one site which is having html pages css javascript so all the if you are having any png or jpg images so those should not be recorded why because we need to record as per the requirement so i am adding that html page dot star backslash star html so i am creating for dot html so these should be Included while it is included means only those pages will be recorded under recording controller. Okay, so let me add listener here. You will see here you will see what are the 
is a recording there it will ex what is excluded from here everything will be shown here okay so let me save me save see jmx jmeter extension this is a file you want to save okay save okay let me close this one right just close this one see this should be open while we are recording browser should be open okay so let me start this one already i have installed sometimes it will display so there is no problem okay click on okay let's go to here press copy paste click on enter so it will open the site if you observe here okay it will display everything so okay whatever the site it is having everything here it will display okay cs is excluded cs is excluded okay button okay next uh, if a ga gif image is excluded okay gif image excluded js is excluded okay js is css is excluded so like that it will display everything why because we have given excluded extension css js gif jpg image okay so let me click this one will come into here qtp tutorial dot html see that html this will be recorded under recording controller dot html okay we are having another index dot html this is default it will come okay dot html it will record so let's go into selenium tutorials selenium tutorials it will record selenium tutorials dot html okay hplm okay let me open any apm interview questions see this is also dot html okay this is a html interview questions okay here it will display html see so, like this you need to record the script in jmeter with the extension of html if it is having dot net dot php or something you can mention here just you need to mention here dot html if you want to include okay so let me stop okay stop i need to delete this one so we don't require this one so let it save okay let me add listener the summary record i am adding summary record okay thread group i am adding to user every fraction of second so it will perform 2 seconds sorry two hits one user will perform two requests means one user will perform two times in in two or three seconds okay see here it will display error it is showing you see 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 some html ssl certification okay this is will not require proxy this is showing as a proxy the so, protocol http proxy okay exceptional processing sample java socket cost rocket okay Okay, now if you run this one let me say if you run it will run 1 2 see these are the html page 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 6 7 is running right error is zero so here it is running 4 4 4 28 exception 28 right okay like this you know to compulsory record the script like this so it is automatically generated why because this is text xml accept languages accept encoding refer a user it will automatically generate okay no need to bother this one so like this you need to generate or you need to perform proper testing performance testing for proper web pages okay okay thank you for watching my video if you like this video please like or share and provide me uh, feedback on this one using as a comment so that i can know that if you want to anything you want to learn more if you miss if i miss anything please provide your valuable comments thank you thank you for watching